It's a little bit like Sammy McElroy, this guy. Let's see what he does with it. It's a good ball. And they've got him behind here. They've beaten the offside trap. They need a shot here. It. It's not a bad effort to just over the crossbar. Poor ball, though, by Jones. Now edge of the penalty area. Now this is a good shooting opportunity, and it's a good shot. And nice and calmly. Didn't hurry it. Tucks it away. Equaliser for Optimum. Excellent goal, wasn't it? Again, it was one of those moments where he waited his moment, drew the keeper. That's a great ball, what a lovely finish. Now that was vision. He saw the ball as it played out to this right wing position. He saw the ball immediately, and obviously we're right up on the gantry. You can see it, but it, it, it made, the, both the players made it look easy. Now there are players available in central midfield. Hartford. Better ball. Now he's on side. This could be the equalising goal. Oh. Now that asked, asked to be buried, and that could cost them, couldn't it? Yeah, for once it was a great caught a little bit there, the defender. Could be a chance here, good run as well. Well, he's got himself into a great position, good layoff in the end, and the defender covering his goalkeeper, and another attempt, oh, and it's finished eventually. I mean, there was so much there, there were so many options for Virgin Media, they were almost queuing up, heroic defending, but not quite enough in the end. But there's quite a buzz down here, isn't there? Yeah, there is. And I think um, what you'll find is as the games go on now, they're becoming more crucial. You know, someone's either got a oops, a chance there, or just over the bar by uh, the Magpies. chance here now and this could be the opening goal of the game oh good save by the keeper good save now real Manx had a real chance then and it, we've not really seen that many uh, do or die saves by the keeper but I think that one falls into that category the magpies have got it clear the Manx with a low ball in lovely piece of creative play low ball in oh Oh, he's missed a real chance then. I mean, the build-up play was superb. The finish just lacked something, didn't it? Yeah. 
chance here for... Um, oh, and it's, they've squeezed it in, yep. The Manx have squeezed one in, good ball. Questionable whether it was offside. I thought it possibly could have been, but they're getting more men forward. It was a good goal. 1 0 the real Manx lead. Now, this keeps them in this tournament. They lost the first match, remember, to Virgin. And uh, the Magpies, who Paul Lake was talking about uh, being favourites, have just conceded another goal. A beautiful finish. He kept his calm. He waited for the goalkeeper to advance. And then as he went to ground, he's just put it to the goalkeeper's left and into the bottom corner. a chance now for the Magpies inside the penalty area good ball across could be a goal good save by the legs of the keeper you know what if the Magpies had to turn this round and come from 2-0 down that really had to go in didn't it <laughs> and a chance here for the Magpies and they've got one now it might be too late they pull one back and they're now two one behind it, a lovely composed finish and a decent cross in as well. Decent throw, neatly taken by Jones, but he couldn't find anybody, so the ball's cleared away. Chip over the top, defender, not with the longest stride, a little stuttery stride, but he's got it back to his keeper, gets it clear. Real Manx, good footwork in field, good run, continuing run, great run, could be a goal, it is a goal, fantastic goal, slalomed his way through midfield then, very uh, Geo Kinkladzi esque perhaps remember that game against Southampton a few years ago, all left foot of course in that case. This is good, this by Optiman. By contrast, the real Manx defence is just struggling a little bit. Perhaps their better players are in the attacking positions as the ball looped in. Chance for a shot, trying to measure it in. Comes for a more snapshot, which goes high and wide. And it's uh, brought out on this near touchline. We might get a word actually from the uh, a member of the Ian Taylor eleven in just a second. Nick Phillips has uh, has joined us. Now you're you're waiting. I was just asking the question as we uh, look forward to the final. Obviously you know you're in it. Is the is the worry that your players? Hang on, there's a chance here for Virgin. Good goal. Good goal. Good finish as well as the ball claiming from the right hand side. Lovely right foot volley. Brought forward now in the uh, left wing position by the Virgin lads. Played back for a chip ball over the top. There's a couple of players after it. One of them is Arnie from the Bredbury branch of the supporters club. Plays the ball into middle. It's a good ball as well. The finish though just lacks something. And the ball goes through to the, uh, the goalkeeper. in possession here, Virgin Media on the far side and they've done well to get into a space where they can get across in. Uh, there's a man in the middle and one arriving and the chance of the shot, scuffed. Now I thought for a second that was going to creep in then. Now there's a man here who's got in behind the defenders, he's onside, the flag stayed down and he's got two defenders to try and get past. He's got very little support at the moment, he's trying to do it all on his own, he's having to do it all on his own, tries a shot, keeper gets a hand on it and just about sneaks the ball wide of the far post. That was almost a moment of uh, individual inspiration. <laughs> 